Alright, so previously we started sketching the Tableau architecture where we learned about the source layer, the desktop layer and the consumer layer. Now we can unbox the server layer in Tableau architecture. And in order to better understand Tableau server components, I'm gonna walk you through three scenarios from the user point of view. What can happen exactly in Tableau server once we publish a workbook or when we log into the server and access a workbook. So let's go. So let's say that you want to publish a Tableau workbook with an extract. What gonna happen, Tableau desktop gonna request the server to upload the workbook TWBX. And the first component in Tableau server that gonna receive the request is the gateway. The gateway knows how to forward the request to the right server components. And in this situation, the right component to process the publishing is the application server. So the gateway gonna forward the request to it. And as we learned, the Tableau workbook holds two different types of informations, the metadata stored in the XML files and the data itself stored in hyper files. And in Tableau server, those two different types of files gonna be stored in two different places. The application server gonna send the XML file to be stored in the server component called repository and the hyper file gonna be stored in another component called the file store. So what we have learned so far, the gateway is responsible to forward the request to the right component, the application server is the one that can handle the publish process, the repository gonna store the XML files, the metadata of the workbook, and the actual data, the hyper, gonna be stored inside the file store. All right, so that's all for this scenario. Next, we will start talking about the authentication workflow in Tableau Server. 